Welcome back to episode three of turning the A90 into our new competition drift car. In the last couple episodes, we tore apart the complete interior of the A90. We added the wide body. We started cutting the rear fenders, welding the rear fenders, seam sewing the rear fenders. And today we're gonna get started on putting on some modifications for this car. We're currently waiting on our roll cage from Cage Kits. It's gonna be here later this week. So we're trying to use our time wisely and start installing things on this car so we can keep this train moving as fast as possible. Today we have some CSF. CSS. <laughs> if you look behind us here, all of our parts have finally showed up. This is a, a big wall of parts for the A90, and all of these parts we got from Throttle. Throttle is our official part supplier of the A90 series. We have been partners and friends with Throttle for years, and it's really awesome we finally get to partner with them. All the parts for this build are all supplied from Throttle, and if you guys use code TJHUNT, you can save up to 15% off at Throttle, or you can click the links down below in the description or use my code at checkout. Save yourself some money, boys. Go to Throttle, get some parts. While Dylan is gonna start tackling the rear end of the car, I think we just need to finish welding the back left side. Back left and then seam sealing. Calvin just finished up seam sealing the rear. I'm gonna seam seal that side, and then the rear's gonna be done. The first batch of parts that we're gonna Install today are these parts from CSF. CSF yes, makes cooling products. I'm really excited to use these. We've never used them before, and I've heard so many great things about them. We finally get the opportunity to throw them on the car. Fun Actually, fact. Funner fact. We had a CSF. Okay, if you say where it came from, because I the know where. 350. A long time ago. Wow. I didn't and think you'd we, know that. We never opened the box. That's not true. We, we used never, it in the rear mount. The oh, rear rad of Selena is oh, a CSF. Oh, 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 that was just so long ago I didn't count it, but now you yeah. just outed me. I lied yeah, to yeah. you. Long we long. have used it. But I, ju I just remember it sitting on the shelf, and I'm like, what is this CSF box yes. sitting here yes. this whole time? So interesting enough, the Supra uses two auxiliary radiators CSF. and one main heat exchanger, which is very, very cool in my opinion. So oh, yeah. I just want to see it. This is pretty. Ooh, that's nice. That's awesome. Super the rock, cool. The, rock. the reason why we're going to be upgrading all the cooling factors of this car is because the A90 is going to live on rev limiter. It being a drift car, we're going to spend a majority of its life literally at the top of the RPM range, which means temperatures will get very, very hot. And because this is a drift car, we're going to be more sideways than going straight, which means air cooling efficiency is going to be less than what it normally would be if you were like a time attack car. We really want to make sure our temperatures can stay cool as much as possible and try to reduce as much heat soak as possible. Oh uh, yeah. She's good, dude. I don't I don't want your <laughs> dirty air in my mouth. Is there a Ready to take off this bumper. Don't mind the mindless hammering in the back there. You're good. You asked me to do this. Yeah, you're good. One thing I'm really looking forward to doing that Dylan and I were talking about is trimming out all this plastic that just blocks all of the passageway. And we're also gonna remove these little vents at some point too. But what's cool is this Supra actually does have some cool ducting. And as you can see right here, that vent right there, that light you're seeing on the other side is actually from the wheel well where the air ducting goes for the brakes. Pretty cool, Toyota, pretty cool. Or should I say BMW? For the boys. Other side, if you saw it when I did it, I was pretty embarrassed by it. I hadn't done this in a little bit. This side, I prepped everything a lot more and better and further out so there's no paint, no seam sealer, etc. And I had my settings a little more dialed from that side. There's still some splatter, but I wasn't getting big burn in holes and stuff like that, but a lot better on this side. I didn't film it, but I thought I would show it. Dylan grinded down the weld, so this is what it looks like once it's grinded down, and now the seam sealer is gonna go on top of this. It's a lot smoother, and you can run your hand underneath it, and it's not all spiky, and it's not gonna cut you. What are you making? I'm making piss. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> I'm making piss. Damn, that's, that's, so a, much piss. that's a lot of coolant. Sorry. So what's really cool, uh, because I've never done this on my 90 is this car, I believe, has three radiators, which is gnarly. Let's see if Dylan. One, and then both One sides. One radiator, you know what this is? Are you seeking that? No, that's the heat exchanger. Oop. Crazy. What? Yes. Water so heat. radiator, that's air to water, heat exchanger, and then radiator, and then radiator. So these are tied in the cooling system? These aren't oil coolers? No. 
I don't believe so. Well, I mean, but I mean Calvin is yanked yeah, it, and it's cooling. It's water, it's water, cool. it's water cool. the well, those are radiators. Those, these yeah. aren't heat exchangers. No, the inner cooler is water cooled. Yes. This tank right here is for the radiator, and this tank right here is for the heat exchanger. They both use coolant. I don't know if they're two separate systems or if it's one combined system. I don't know yet. I'm trying to find that out, but I was like, I guess we're gonna figure out regardless. Okay. Start this is everything. real BMW of them right now. I know. Just a bunch of. I know. We were looking oh, at it, and I'm like, God. oh man, that's a lot of lines everywhere. A lot of complexity, which makes me think. Okay. Where is the AC condenser? Also. also and like, is there some new tech that like there isn't an AC? It's like tied in somewhere else. Oh. I don't really know. No, because there isn't one in here. Right. But I mean, there's clearly. What is this? Is that it? This big box? I don't know. Today's video is sponsored by one of my most favorite companies ever, and that's Factor. As you guys know, my life is pretty crazy and hectic, and I'm always all over the place, which always leads to unhealthy eating habits. Whether it's fast food or just candy or junk food. I've never been really good with my eating until I started eating with Factor. Factor is pre-made healthy meals that are delivered to your door. They're healthy and clean, and most importantly, it actually tastes good. Factor offers keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, and vegan plus veggie options, which includes seafood, meat, and plant-based meals. Factor cuts out stressful meal planning and extensive prepping, so meals come together in just minutes. The meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat within two minutes, which is faster than ordering takeout. There's quite a few options out there now for pre-made meals, but nothing compares to Factor. There's a lot of times where I'll even just eat Factor at home rather than choosing to go out. Head over now to factor75.com forward slash hunt50 to receive 50% off your first order. Or just use hunt50 at checkout by clicking the links down below. Thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back to it. Here's the thing that you guys don't know about is we talked about, we called our boy Jordan from RK Tunes. He drifts an F80 and also has like a two series that he drifts as well. These cars use electric power steering racks, not hydraulic pump has like power steering racks like we're used to. There is some debate from certain companies like we're gonna be putting a YSAB angle kit on this car and YSAB said, hey, we recommend that you don't use the electronic power steering rack because sometimes they can fail at high angle. We've had friends who have tried to put hydraulic pump systems onto this car, onto BMWs, and have had their own deals and problems with trying to put a new pump in replacement of the AC pump. But I think we're just gonna run the electronic power steering rack. We have a friend, Jordan, as I just mentioned, who he's doing it on his F80. He's like, dude, I have like a thousand laps on it and it hasn't failed. Uh, some things that we're not gonna really get into these topics until later in the build once we approach these hurdles that we need to jump over. Right now, it's all easy stuff, like just replacing certain parts and doing this and that. But when it gets down to our uh, e-brake system for our hydro system, and when it comes to power steering, those are things that we're gonna have to figure out what's our best move, and we're gonna have to try and figure it out. And I'm sure a lot of you guys in the comments will be able to give us information down below. I was able to remove the heat exchanger without removing the radiator. We have to avoid doing that because we don't have to replace it. We don't have it on us. Whether or not we get a new one is up to TJ's discretion. Up to CSF, two auxiliary radiators is enough. We'll start the season without it. If we need to upgrade it, we will. On the new heat exchanger, it's a little thicker, so it'll fit in, but it'll just be towards the funnel. What's this? The shroud. Shroud more? There's a mesh grill that prevents rocks from hitting it and i'm mm. removing that now and there's a new little dinky one over there towards the funnel weight recalculating shroud <laughs> i'm going in without the bag oh it's partially dried it's okay you just oh! Oh! Oh, <laughs> uh, what a mess i've made whoa you're dripping yeah you're it's, dripping no it's not gonna even touch the ground you could have come an hour Later, and it would have never hit the ground. At least I wasn't messy when I did it. Oh, uh, you kidding me? <laughs> you were covered up to your elbows in gunk. Elbow deep is pretty deep, brother. Look at this. That's not how you want it. Less than I, ideal. Less than ideal. Uh, so what you do is you weld it so it's structurally all. This is going in the trash. One piece, and then you take seam sealer, and you coat it with half dry <laughs> seam sealer. The part where I need it the most is underside, where the cracks are. You cut it, you fold it, you mold it, you weld it, so it's all one piece. And then all these little gaps and cracks are still in here. Oh, she's pissing everywhere, dude. Stock auxiliary radiators. No. Look at these little babies. Look no. at these little babies. CSF. Oh, that was a risky toss. I didn't mean to do that. Look at that chonky boy. Yes, no plastic end tanks. Look at that. That's hot. Super cool. This requires zero modification to get this in. You literally just take them out, plop them in, put them back in, and you're ready to go. I also like how there's like this little rock girl that oh, comes God. with one. 
Look at that. CSF. We love you. Tuan's back. What needs to happen now? We gotta get it to fit in the stock bracketing. This fits really well in the car already. What happened is the CSF is a bit thicker than the radiator that comes with the car. These little things here that used to hold this in place are in the way of the radiator. So I'm gonna have Dylan cut it because that whizzy wheel blew up in my face one time and now I don't like using it. <laughs> it fits. Look at that. That's fantastic. I love this. I love seeing when things just fit. The left goes on the left side. There's these cool little aesthetic block off plates that look like the grill mesh. I'm probably gonna trim this and then trim the center of it out or put them back, but all the airflow that we can get, functionality wise, I'd like to get. So I'm gonna take this block off plate out and all this other stuff. And so we have more airflow. Oh, dude! Airflow. <laughs> airflow. It's almost like Toyota should have done that from the factory. And that's how you secure yourself. That's what you're how much do you like those pants, Cal? Not much, oh, really. Okay. I don't wear underwear, so if you're what? gonna go in there, like, no. what's he doing? What's he doing? What, bro? dude? What's he doing? What? What is happening? What, I'm dude? Cheeks, bro. I can feel my cheeks being moved. You don't feel those. <laughs> what are you drawing? What is he drawing? <laughs> <You're> drawing? <laughs> <laughs> is he's you're smelling me. You're smelling me. What do you mean? You're smelling me. I felt like you know how a Douglas. I felt that on the back of my hand. Dude, just because oh, I have a strong nostril passageway doesn't mean I'm smelling you. Dude. Where do you need me? I need you to go home. Huh? I'll go home. Oh. Guide it in front of it. Oh. 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 That fit good. Fit. That fit really good. What daddy wants, daddy gets. <laughs> Whatever daddy wants, daddy gets. Oh. <laughs> Dylan is so good. Oh, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. What? Whatever daddy wants, daddy gets. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you gotta get Dylan doing it. Whatever daddy wants. That it gets. Oh, wow. <laughs> what the fuck? The was whistle was creepy <laughs> for me. I think it'd be kind of cool to leave it no grill. I'm pretty down for it, yeah, man. Kind of but I'd like, I'd want to personally okay. trim the back. You know what I mean? Like, imagine it without the clips. Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think down below? So we're thinking about putting the radiators. Actually, the radiator doesn't sits like way back over here. You don't necessarily see it. What you'd see is like the is like the that subframe. Or the, you know, it's not the subframe, but the... All the induction scoops. Here, we either trim this and yeah. leave that open. I don't know, it's kind of cool. I'm know. gonna pull, I have to pull the other one out anyways, and then why not I'll pull the center one out? We should just trim this. It might be flimsy though. You might have to like leave it connected uh -huh. and leave that I'll open. Probably... Hey, it's gonna look cool, okay? <gasps> oh my God, say excuse me. <sighs> Dude, you <laughs> <laughs> okay, you see these hooks? Yeah. There's like hooks at the bottom. Gotta hook them in there. Like SpongeBob and Patrick. Yes, sir. Oh, you're in on this side. Look, Tj, you don't have to push it in. Remember? Look, let me show you what I meant. You big dummy chotch. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not, not in. Not, not in yet. Yeah. You see? Oh, I didn't have to push I, no, it. I had the retainer clips out. Oh. So I didn't have to do it. Do I have to press it in? Did I have to press it in? Did I have to press it in? Hold on, let me try. Let me try. Oh, oh, weird. Let me try this side. Oh, what do you know? It's in. Still need to put back the hardware, bro. Hey there, bro. Hey there, bro. You better put down hardware out there, brother. Hey there, brother. Hey there, brother. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna test it this really quick. Not test it, we're gonna test mock. We're gonna mock, we're, we're gonna mock it up. Huh? We're gonna mock it up. We're not gonna put it on. Looks like you're putting it on. We're gonna put it I just wanna see if it looks cooler, cool or not. Well, good luck putting it on when there's no, 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 it's just, at the top. We're just holding it. That's why I said I wasn't done yet. It's kind of cool. Okay. To me, it, it, okay, this is what I'll say. This section is super cool. Now that it's open, it gives me very like FT1 concept vibes. But I also agree, all this exposed aluminum looks kind of whack. Do you think we're ever gonna get a bunny rabbit down the middle of it? I hope so. 
I hope the bunny Robert gets in the meat grinder. Ah, uh, bunny Robert, huh? I hope it gets meat grinded. I want a burger made of bunnies. I used to have a pet bunny, Calf. And that's and guess where it went. <laughs> I ate meat. it. <laughs> Burgers! Is that what happened to my dog, too? Huh? Yes. Both of them. I f***ing knew it! Dylan is so old that today when we were going to look at something, which I can't say what it is yet, but we, this morning Dylan and I were doing some stuff. Dylan went to climb a ladder and he pulled his oblique. Dude, I didn't just go climb a ladder. I went, old? I went to dino up like three rungs on this elevated ladder on the side of something, which you can't talk about. Guys, he, and, just, he just went, he and I went, went up a ladder. It, it and I went to like Sylvester's little uh, cliffhanger. Oh god, that hurt even just doing that. And then I pulled my oblique. We gotta it was a normal get his ladder. good side, his oblique side. It's time to. Okay, this looks cool, <laughs> but this has to go. <laughs> That's our brake cooling. This for sure has to be black. It's very cool though if you don't run those. I don't know. I'm undecided. Well, this, Give us your feedback down thought. below. You guys have a big input on this car. If you guys really hate something that bad, we won't do it. So let us know. Comment. Yeah. What, what do we do? What he said. <laughs> How dare you? How 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 dare you? <laughs> that was my boy throwing it back. I was, I was impressed. Stop! <laughs> you heard the beep off, dog. Oh my god, that's how it goes in. This is super nice. I really like it. It's got a bellow. It's slip fit. It's actually. Really easy to remove. Calvin did it all. I just lifted stuff. But he's gonna remove the whole rear end because we're gonna do all bushings in the rear, all adjustable arms. And then I'm going to make a bracket and find a way to fit the side skirt and the fender add-on carbon bits together so they don't flap and drag when we're super sideways doing drift stuff. You ever seen tipping cows, like tipping tractors? You can't tip. Dude. <laughs> I actually sleep with my eyes open. No, it's you great. Don't. Yes, I do. Ask TJ. Ask TJ right now. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we don't. We don't need that. The drive shaft probably has to come out in order for us to cough. <coughs> yes. I don't like drive shafts. This was made for a fiberglass mold, so they tried it with carbon fiber. It worked out great. Unfortunately, this angle of the underside mounting point of the side skirt is a little too downward from the chassis. And because it's molded here, uh, I can't flex it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this section out so I can hopefully get some flex without cracking all the clear coat and the resin and all that shit. And then if I can't do that, I'll probably section the back, flex it some more. All right, well, we just got a delivery. Mom um, brought it. Mom brought it. Thanks, Sabrina. All right, what's the review? <laughs> Chop bomb. Chop bomb. It's super good. Is it really? Yeah, it is actually really good. Like genuinely really good. You got a little, yeah. Thank you. What's gonna happen is we have to remove all the bits that are attached to the chassis itself so that we could lower the entire subframe assembly all at the same time. What needs to be done right now is to do these top hats on the chassis and then unplug all the wires so that when it comes down, it doesn't snap anything. After seven motors and 24 batteries, that car starts. Ah, he's excited! Look at him, he's so happy! It starts! Batteries been dead for so long. <laughs> it does make me excited. I still need to go and re dyno this car. It's gonna break eights, baby! It's gonna break eights after 20 miles on the new motor. Hey! Hey, what? I heard that. Oh my, you fucking. A little progress update, Dylan. How's it going over here? Um, putting these back in to test fit it. I sectioned, if you come look down here, I took this side section off and I made it as thin as I could or felt comfortable without it cracking. And then I kind of uh, relieved the inside section. So I'm hoping that I can push up enough to mount and not totally crack. Again, this was a fiberglass mold. For it to even fit this well everywhere else is incredible. Yeah, it's just pretty rigid and sticks down further. What I'm gonna have to do is I think I'm gonna have to cut this center section off and I'll probably scallop it like this. And then I'm gonna have to get some kind of spacer and then get longer hardware and then just flex it in like this much. Cause me putting it all the way chassis ain't gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah, well we like, we did there. And then as soon as we put them up and we had a car there, we're 
It's not going. It's not going. It's not going. Get going. Ah! Maybe if I had a crowbar. TJ, you want to crowbar me? How big of a stick you want to stick in there? Oh, he got the big one. This is a serious job for a serious stick. All right, you need to uncouple that boy so that I could drop. Oh, hey, I felt that. Oh, hey, what's going on over there? You're not gonna drop that, right? I'm, I'm not gonna drop it now. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, right on the You're not gonna drop that, right? I'm, I'm not gonna drop it now. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. After getting the, the drive shaft out, drive axle, we're gonna drop the entire subframe. There's only four bolts holding it in, and hopefully we don't mess up, because this, uh, this is a delicate operation, but I'm the doctor. I get I'm the doctor. Why am I worried? I'm not worried. So this portion of the mold, and Dylan can back me up or correct me, is pretty set in stone because of this hard line here. So if you come my side and look down, this is where we want it to be, and then follow it and see how it flares out quite a bit. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and see where it starts to flare and trim to about, you know, here and then start to go back. So at least we have something to mount to the chassis. It's not just flapping the wind when we're <laughs> sideways. And then this way, this won't have to flex up and then crack. So we'll see. Good enough for me. Uh -oh. Probably should finish eating first. Mm -hmm. So Dylan's been working really hard on this side skirt. So watch this. Dylan, is this your water? Yeah. <laughs> you such a fuck. Oh, please? Yep. Looking like the Statue of Liberty out here. Twice in a fucking room. Off camera, Dylan just got <laughs> smacked in the face Dude, by I a Cleco. Dude, got hit in the ear by a fucking Cleco. <laughs> That was really good. Now I do that to that. Woo! 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 What? We dogs! Woo! 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 No? Hey, I didn't know you had that dog in you like that! Woo! Woo! <laughs> 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 and I are out here doing the things and the TJ gets excited to do the thing. The last thing. Oh, okay. Is it gonna touch the drive shaft, you fucking no, juice? It won't. It won't. All right. It's on. All right. Teej, you're the one that's gonna do the dangerous part. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, Teej, oh yeah. Oh, we're dropping like the whole brake assembly with it? Yeah. Yeah, but right. the diff's gonna come with this. Yes. Yeah. And the diff has axles on it. Yeah. And the axles you, go where? Goes to the right assembly, the oh, right there. Oh, we're dropping everything. I'm gonna go up the tiniest bit. Tell me if there's anything catching. <coughs> TJ caught it! Nice catch! What? Mate. Oh, that hurt my hand. Yup. 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 Be clear on my side. Yup. That's good. Oh boy, it's tipping. Are you tipping it? This okay. is me. Okay. Time. We oh, need, oh, big... oh, because it's bouncing. Yeah, can you get the other zip tie? The reusable there's, zip tie? There's no way to, oh, I guess you can zip tie it. Yeah. I would do more, dude. That's a heavy app. Is there a... You're such a you, okay. you are are such a baby. These are Harbor a... Freight zip ties. You're such a baby. And this is like a 25 pound, actually, have you seen that donut media video of how much have... a... They work very well. They can hold so much more weight than you think they can, so. Okay, I retract stand. my statement, it just looks, it makes me feel better. Okay, you're good. I just wanna also say, if you notice, we have a strap there. Last time I saw this happen, Ricky and Mickey were working on Supra, maybe. You could go like this. It was. And then you could see it go, eee, eee. Torching ladies? Oh my god. Yeah, spit on them, dude. Oh, there it is. Get that back. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I need um, that. So. Uh, That's two videos in a row of, of people sucking stuff off places that are dirty. Uh, Calvin has only fans. Dude, I don't. Uh, so, no, I don't want. But he could though. I don't. He oh, could. Yeah. If only someone made an Instagram for him. No, if only someone please. made an Instagram for his only fans, and then it just indirectly linked to his Twitch. Got him. I'm so excited for this. No, I'm not. Uh, well deserved. I don't have. I think it's only five or six yet. bucks a month to subscribe. Two hundred fifty bones for feet pics or what? A month. But do you interact with your fans? I. You'd have to pay to find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Hey, sorry, all you A ninety super boys out there. Uh, that's a three four six baby. Everyone else got three fifteen. Mm. Which that sucks, as I wish there was, because when we blow them up, 
I wish they were going to be easy to get, but... We can just get a ring and pinion. I'm sure they make a ring and pinion for this gear set now. So we'd have to rebuild it, which is not fine. the best. I speak than not Cars 2. Hell yeah. Nice, bud. Nice. <laughs> um, metal. In metal, more. Disc, not disc. Make go. Mm. Mm. Uh, oh. <laughs> TJ's not a monkey like us. He doesn't know monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was supposed to see that. <laughs> I love that. Uh, so, so yeah, we'll disassemble all of this. I'm curious to see how similar the rear knuckles are with BMW knuckles. Because they make adapter kits for dual Knuckles caliber. approved. Approved. I'm gonna go with a lighter or a higher grit. Higher. 120 grit. And it's also a, a pretty used and tired one, which I kind of want because it means that I'm gonna, it's even higher of a grit because it's missing a lot of the sandpaper portion. And that way it'll just remove less material since this hood's already super thin and super light. I don't wanna just munch at it. See how fast that goes away? That last portion wasn't even really necessary. Functionally, it would have been fine or the same. I just uh, aesthetically really like a clean, smooth edge, so. And we love that you love a nice, clean edge because then it looks good. The devil's in the details. Yep. What's that from? Huh? We don't have compressor yet. So I'm over here just dusting myself off and I'm getting my own water blown back to my face. That's what you get for spitting water at me. Yeah, fair enough. Payback. Yeah, fair enough. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. We got a ton of progress done on this car, and right now we're waiting on a few parts to come in before we can kind of start piecing together all of the new stuff. Our cage is coming in soon. Our new roof is coming in soon. These next few slew of parts, once those go in, everything else can come together. I'm realistically hoping we can get this car on a track within the next month for testing. Could potentially be even sooner than that. Until then, I hope you guys stay tuned for the next video. It's gonna be dropping in probably the next few days. We're working as fast as we can. We're trying to put together like long format videos to kind of document the whole thing. So stay with us, stay tight, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out and keep moving forward.